Okay, so this is what our final product looks like, but we're going to go ahead and start with a fresh screen so that you'll know how to do this from scratch. So I'm just going to go to New, Blank Document. I'm going to go ahead and insert my picture. And then I'm going to change my picture so that we need our whole piece of paper to be 4 by 6. So we need to make sure that our picture fits into that 4 by 6. So we're going to go ahead and make our picture using the tool here. We're just going to make it 3 by 5. And then we're going to go ahead and change our orientation of our paper to landscape and we're going to change the size of our paper to 4 by 6 so we're going to go down here to more paper sizes and then we're just going to change the width to 6 and the height to 4 because that's how big our paper is we're going to be printing them and that lets us know the space that we're working with so we're going to also need to be able to move this picture around so we go to position more layout options we want it behind the text because we're going to create that little window, or excuse me, the little thought bubble. And we're just going to kind of play with it until we find that it's centered how we want it. And then once we do that, we're going to go ahead and insert shapes. And my little window bubble is under recently used shapes, but normally it's down here by call outs. So you can do the bubble or, or just a normal word bubble. So we're going to go ahead and insert that. And then what happens is it creates this little X. And that's going to be the start of your bubble. And then you just drag your bubble out. And then you can type whatever you want in your bubble. And this is a thank you card for my friend Ryan who watched our dog Kip while we were on vacation. So I just typed in, I wish Ryan were here because he's way more fun than us and baby Debbie who likes to torture him. And then I went ahead and changed the font size so it was just a little bit bigger so you have to go back to your home button there. Change the font till it maximizes the space there. 14 seems to work good. And so this bubble can be a little bit off the actual photo because it's still within the 4 by 6 range. Now we're going to go ahead and print it, but first we're going to do a print preview to make sure that it's all going to fit on our little 4 by 6 paper. Everything is in there. So then we're just going to go ahead and print. 